Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new pay-per-view reaction slash review video. Today I'm joined with Captain and with Flame, and we've even got a, a special little guest. Well, he is special, but not not in the good way. Yeah. And that's D2. D2 is going to give us our insights on the matches he watched because you know Captain didn't watch the matches. <laughs> But we're going to go over all the results, guys. We're going to go over all that good stuff. And, yeah, let's start it off by getting up, first of all, all our predictions so you guys can see what we all said. Captain, uh, I'm going to let you start this off with the Nakamura-Rusev match. Um, are you happy with the result of that? And that is Nakamura winning. I knew that result. And, yes, I am. I think it was the right one for them. Right. You. Flame, what did you think about the match? Yeah, you... I think it was a pretty damn good match, and that um, match kick or whatever it was that Rusev did was What like, a kick. Oh, awesome. Genuinely like, thought that that could be the finish to the match. Yeah, that was, that was awesome. That was pretty awesome. Uh, um, so, yeah, happy with the, 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 the result? No. Do you kind of see why it had to be Nakamura, though? Yeah, I know. That's why I wasn't happy with the match. And, and right, of course. In the first yeah, match. of course, of course. I would rather Rusev... Rather Rusev have something more more important to do than, you know, have a good match, of course, because it's Rusev, but then just ultimately still lose. Um, I don't remember the last time uh, Rusev's actually won a match on pay-per-view, which is very sad. So, we're going to move on. Oh, sorry, I thought the match was what it was. Um, I, people, I've seen people saying, oh, it was a great match. I, I thought it was, it was okay. Um, I still think Nakamura hasn't really shown that he can have a good... Like, AJ Styles could wrestle... A paper bag and probably have an amazing match, okay? But I feel like with Nakamura, a lot of wrestlers just don't fit his wrestling style. On on top of that, the, the WWE wrestling style itself is obviously not the same as in New Japan. I think all of that it makes it just makes it that Nakamura I don't think has had such a big impact on me, in my opinion, that I wished he would have had. I don't think his matches are that good um, since he's been on the main roster. So don't hate me for saying that. That's just how I feel. Don't think many of you guys can be like, he's had that amazing match, that amazing match, and that amazing match. I think he's about he's about one amazing match and a couple yeah, good matches. Good but Cena. yeah, that literally the one I was that's that's the one I was gonna say. That's and against that's, Sami Zayn at Takeover. That's not on the main that's, roster though, is it? No, but that that's his best. Match I know, sure, 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 sure. So we're gonna move on to Becky and Naomi versus Carmella and Natalia. All I want to say is I got that prediction right. We, we all got Nakamura, by the way. I got that... F I can't believe I changed my mind at the end of the video and got it. That is what got me to victory. As you guys can tell by the predictions, we'll do, of course, the, the, the changing of belts. The, like, who who was the... Was it Flame? Was it Flame? I believe Flame. Who's Champ yeah, right I, now? Champ was... I won Rumble. Yeah, it was Flame that's Champ. Okay, so Flame's going to give me his championship, and that's totally... you know He's, he's legit going to hand it over to me. So, yeah. Um, it, was, it was an awful match. No, it wasn't. It was just wasn't a match. It was a SmackDown-worthy match. Only thing that made it interesting and entertaining for me was Carmella and Becky Lynch. Love both of them, mainly because of their ring gear and... And them, but you know, it was it was all right. It was okay. It was it was pretty 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 boring though. Um, next, oh, I didn't even ask you what you guys thought about this. Sorry, that was that was rude. Flame. Oh, yeah. Screw this match. Yeah. Okay. The pinfall. Yeah, I'm, I'm very it. angry at that. But why can't you give it? Why can't you let that annoying? Naomi, I know, right? So God damn it! Um, Captain didn't watch the match. You happy with the result at least, Captain? Ah, uh, yeah, it gives Carmella the win before she cashes in. Yeah, but no, 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 don't say you're happy with the result when Becky Lynch got pinned. I'm not happy with that part of it, but the fact that Carmella won is a good Someone point. pointed out to me, would you like, what is his, What is Becky Lynch's last feud with someone? Don't say the Riot Squad because they didn't actually feud. What was Becky, so please, what was Becky Lynch's last feud, guys? Right. All right, that's that's it. That's all that needs to be said. No one can um, remember. I'm pretty sure it was Alexa Bliss. Yeah, I think it was Alexa. Which is saying something, considering Alexa hasn't been on SmackDown for like nine months. So yeah, <laughs> poor Becky Lynch. One game. Was it Mickey James? Well, they left at the same time. Yeah, so. it was probably Mickey James. Yeah, but exactly. They left at the same. It's been too long since Becky Lynch has had a feud. Is what I'm saying here. Yeah. 
Next up, we had Bobby Roode defending his United States, not his universe, his United States Championship against Randy Orton. Flame, what did you think of this match? I think it was definitely better than I expected. I thought it was going to be an awful match, to be honest. And it was better than awful. And uh, yeah, sure. Randy won, which I was kind of happy about because I wanted him to win the US title. Mm -hmm. what, would, what would you give this match I wish out of 10? saved it till Mania. What would you give this out of 10? Uh, it was a 6. It, it was it just a bit. It was like average. Yeah, okay. Alright, yeah. Um, yeah, uh, triple threat at Mania with Jinder. Is that what we're going to see? Hope not, but yeah, probably. Probably, yeah. Alright, Captain, happy with the outcome? Yeah, well, kind of. I wanted Randy to win the title, but as Flame said, I want him to win it at Mania. Okay, so I, I'm not happy with the result. What I wanted for this match was Bobby Roode heel turn to retain. Uh, that didn't happen. I, at least, if that wouldn't happen, then a Bobby Roode heel turn to win the belt. Well, that didn't happen. Um, and then Jinder Mahal came out, and then Bobby Roode then attacked both of them and got the last kind of word, which is, you just made... No, I didn't like that. It was it was just, no, okay? Jinder shouldn't have come out. I know they, they have to have their feud, but there was just... Eh. And then did we see a Bobby Roode almost heel turn? Did they tease the heel turn? They set it up for Mania. I don't know what they're doing. One of those need what in an ideal world I'd have both of those as heels because they're both they they both work a lot better as heels. But yeah, overall not too happy about the outcome of the match because as much as I like Randy Orton as outside the WWE and I do like him because I think he's, he's quite a funny guy I'm, I'm very sick of him um, as the wrestler so anyway we'll move on guys and that is the Usos versus the New Day Usos defending their belts against the New Day this was a very decent match um, until of course what happened you know the the whole we'll get into that but yeah it was a good match uh, they made they found a way to even st this still after their 500th match match together found a way to make it a bit different Stealing each other's moves, trying to do, uh, yeah, trying, trying to steal each other's moves, uh, and then of course suicide dive. Both of them went uh, to suicide dive. Both the Usos on top of the New Day members outside. Biggie was taken out as well, and then what happened? The Bludgeon Brothers came out, attacked everyone. Double TQ. Um, I'm pretty sure Xavier Wood is dead right now, so rest in peace, Xavier. Um, one of the Usos would have been dead if that hammer would have connected. Thank God he moved out of the way. Flame, what do you think of this? Um, the uh, mixed reactions because like really? the ending was like the ending should have happened, but I would have preferred it if it didn't because Ooh, I just wanted to see. I disagree. Day. I yeah, I, I disagree. Unfortunately, I would have preferred it if it didn't happen. I think this. I think this needed to happen. Like this was brilliant. Bludgeon Brothers are great. Um, we've seen New Day so we've seen it. We know it's they we so know good. we know they can have this insane matches. This is perfect in my opinion. Captain, what do you think about what happened? Um, I actually watched this match. It's the only one I No <laughs> well, Okay, yeah. what, what do you think about it all then? I like the match itself, how could you not? It's New Day Uso. Right. And it, it was a good match. I like the outcome. Yeah. A I lot. Think. They booked it well for what they did. Yeah. But what I would have preferred overall going into everything was Bludgeon Brothers Usos at Fast Lane, New Day Usos to steal the show at Mania. Oh, they're still gonna, they're, they're just gonna do um, revival um, against DIY against Authors of Pain. They're gonna do like that kind of match at Mania. I think I think that's definitely the. I think I'd rather watch that a triple threat tag team match then Usos New Day again. Um, as, as good as the match will be, we've seen it enough. Um, Bludgeon Brothers have to, like, Bludgeon Brothers have been good. They're very good. They're both good in the ring. Luke Harper, yes, better than Eric Rowan. But don't underestimate Eric Rowan, in my opinion. I think he, he knows he knows what he's doing as well. And I think both of them, um, with they, they are. They're going to they're gonna try and follow, I think, how they booked it with DIY, Revival, and Authors of Pain. And I think it's going to be a hell of a match. I hope it makes it on the main card. Ruby Riot versus Charlotte. Not going to say much on this. I'm obviously glad that Charlotte retained. Um, I know a lot of people are like, yeah, Ruby Riot's good. She's a good wrestler. She can talk good on the mic. I'm not very keen on her just because I don't think she is that good. I think she's okay. She can definitely, she's definitely better than Naomi, who isn't. 
Um, she, you know, she can be what she can be. She can become very good, but obviously had to be Charlotte. End of the match. Best thing in my opinion on the show. Uh, with with the Bludgeon Brothers as well, I think. But Charlotte, sorry, <laughs> Asuka came out. Uh, challenge Charlotte to a match at WrestleMania, and that looks like what we're going to see for WrestleMania. Which, as much as I love Alexa, I can totally admit that Charlotte Asuka is going to be a hell of a match, a hell of a match, better than Asuka Alexa. And uh, yeah, I I'm genuinely happy with everything that happened with the Charlotte Ruby match and the outcome and the end, all of that. Captain, what do you think? Um, I like that Asuka came out to challenge Charlotte mm -hmm. because. What a match it's going to be. Two God, of the yeah. best in the world right now for women's wrestlers. Right. Um, if Charlotte lost the title, I just, I know Charlotte had to retain, and God, I'm glad yeah. she did. Yeah, Flame? I just want to say how I was right. To be All right, sure, okay. You kept telling me that this wasn't happening, and I was like, nah, they've got to do this. It's going to be Alexa, not and... You have to admit how stupid they've done this. I mean, I'm glad they've done it, no, but no. you have to admit that it's very stupid that they had a match... Asuka had a match with Naya about getting Donna. into it. It, it. They booked about two, a month of storyline on Raw for no reason. Yeah. It's like, what was the point of yeah. doing all of that? You, you, WWE makes themselves look really stupid at times. But anyway, I bet you're really happy about this. Yeah, very happy because this is what I wanted for WrestleMania. Can we get a, a sneak peek for your prediction? Who do you think is going to win that match at Mania? Asuka's definitely winning. Okay. Let's move on, guys, to the best match on the show. Um, very, very good. I was very, very pleased with how this match kind of panned out. Um, I, I, look, you have six men like this. It's good. You, know, you know all of them are very good. You know all of them can do great stuff. Um, I mean, it was it was always going to be a spot fest. It was always going to be very interesting. Near falls, near falls, a bunch of finishes. You know, it was good. I loved it. Really did. Couple spots that um, made it for me. Um, I think the whole Shane McMahon, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn thing, it is what it is. It makes me hate Shane McMahon even more now, which is a bit dumb because WWE still make him seem like the face. But my eyes, he's not the face. He's 100% uh, heel. The biggest heel in WWE. Um, yeah. I, I, I like the whole Baron Corbin Dolph Ziggler spot in the glass, whatever, plastic thing. Um, I like that. I like the near fall because I genuinely thought for a second that Kevin Owens might win that before Shane pulls the ref out. And then same thing goes for Sami Zayn when he aluva kicks. It's like, oh my god, aluva kick, boom. And then the um, then Kevin o 10 Shane McMahon pulls out Sami Zayn, not the ref this time, pulls Sami Zayn out of the ring. Um, so that is what it is. Um, then we had a pop-up powerbomb, I believe, on Kevin Owens. Wait, no. How could that happen? A pop-up pop -up powerbomb on Kevin Owens. No. On either Dolph Ziggler or Baron Corbin. AJ got up to the uh, phenomenal forearm. He got the win. Very good match. Uh, obviously, there's only one man who should have won this match, and he won it. Captain, how did you feel about this outcome? Guess you didn't watch the match. Um... No, I was going to watch it tonight. I'm going to watch the whole pay-per-view tonight. But Good. <laughs> AJ, if he lost, it would have been... Oh, it would have been outraged. Just as bad as Charlotte losing. And glad he won. Hate Shane McMahon. I think we all that's got really it. That's all need. That's all need, that's needed to say. Yeah, yeah. We, we finally got to see the graphic. AJ Nakamura Mania was pretty cool. Flame, what do you think about this match, mate? Yeah, it was a good match, but I expected it to be a good match yeah. anyway. Pretty much every single match AJ Styles has is good, so... Exactly. Plus with Owen, Zayn, Ziggler, Ziggler. Be a good match, Cena. Don't forget Corbin, because I think Corbin's hella underrated right now. Corbin has been yeah, think... very, very good recently. Corbin Stoddard, yeah. Um, just Owen's taking the pin again. And yeah, that annoys me, agreed. Because he took the pin on SmackDown as well. Which was cool for the whole Sammy thing, but did he have to take it again? Not really. Just, Other people could just, have put the just pin. pin Dolph. Dolph did nothing in the match. Dolph was doing nothing. Is gonna go nowhere at this point in his career. Um, and like honestly, I don't. I don't know when people will start realizing that Dolph Ziggler is not doing anything anytime soon in the company. Okay, it's just you feel like finally they're gonna get behind him, and then they don't, and then they do the, They do it like times ten, and then still nothing happens to Ziggler. Sorry. My, I'm get I'm I, I'm genuinely annoyed at that because I do I do get that Dolph Ziggler is an amazing talent who just yeah 
is a glorified job at this point. But anyway, um, Captain, pay-per-view out of 10. I know you didn't watch it, so what? Or based on what you watched, based on the outcomes and stuff, out of 10? Based on the outcomes, I'd say 7 or 8. But um, from what I've heard about the pay-per-view, like a 6 match-based. Sure, all right. Uh, Flame, out of 10? Uh, yeah, I'd probably say... Uh... It's six sevens. Um, hmm, trying to pick one over to the uh, yes, yeah, six just gives my overall yeah. anticipation for the pay view wasn't really that big. So. I'm, I'm giving it a six, two guys, six out of ten. Um, real quick, Captain, uh, f well, you know, you didn't watch the pay view. Flame, favorite match, favorite match. Um, uh, mine was New Day, so. The, probably the main event. Um, and then the best best part coming out of this pay-per-view. Oscar and Charlotte. Right. I, I, I agree with that. And Bludgeon Brothers, New Day Uses, I think. I, 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 I genuinely don't understand some people. Like, just for example, Captain, what he said before, that he didn't want, he doesn't want this triple threat tag at Mania. Genuinely well, don't, don't understand that. It. But anyway, guys, Matt. it is time oh. to do the changing of the championship flame. Give me your belt, motherfucker, because I am the king of predictions. Let's go. First time you want. Come on, give me your belt. Come on, flame. Give it. Cringe. Give it over. Cringe. Champion right here guys right here. Not only am I the champion now. I'm gonna stay the champion forever No, I'm never I'm never losing this belt. Okay To WrestleMania <laughs> yeah. Guys, thank you so much for watching drop this video a like subscribe from you around here, and I'll see you guys very soon. Peace